In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to issue a refund in QuickBooks Online. Whether you're dealing with a customer return or a billing error, knowing how to process a refund efficiently is an invaluable skill for maintaining stellar customer relations and keeping your financial records accurate. So, let's get started. First, you'll want to sign into your QuickBooks Online account. Click on the Sign In button and then choose QuickBooks Online from the options provided. Once you've landed on the QuickBooks login page, enter your credentials. It's important to ensure that your login details are correct. This protects your financial data and ensures that you have uninterrupted access to your records. Once you've entered your username and password, go ahead and click continue. After logging in, direct your attention to the QuickBooks online dashboard. Here you'll find a wealth of accounting tools. Now locate and click on the new button, usually found on the left hand sidebar. This button is your gateway to creating a whole host of transactions, including refund receipts. When you click on new, a drop down menu should appear. From the options presented, go ahead and click on refund receipt. This action will open a new window where you can input details about the refund you're issuing. Next, you'll need to select your customer. This is critical because the refund must be correctly assigned to the customer who originally made the purchase. In the customer field, type the customer's name and make sure that the correct name appears in your list, then click to select it. This action populates the refund receipt with the customer's existing information, saving you time and effort. Once your customer is selected, you'll need to add your account. In the account field, choose the correct account from which the refund will be issued. This will typically be the account where the original transaction was recorded, ensuring your financial records are accurate. The next step is to add the product or service that is being refunded. In the product or service field, select the appropriate item. It's worth double checking the details here to ensure that the refund aligns with the initial purchase. This consistency helps maintain clear and orderly records. Finally, once you've filled out all the necessary information, the last thing to do is click save and close. This action finalizes the refund in your QuickBooks system, adjusting both your financial reports and your customer's account records to reflect the change. And there you have it, a complete guide to issuing a refund in QuickBooks Online. Practice makes perfect, so feel free to revisit these steps anytime you need a refresher. By maintaining precise and up-to-date records, you keep the gears of your business running smoothly. Thank you for joining me today and good luck with your QuickBooks management.